Hello VC, Bradley here. Uh, this won't be a real long video, it's just going to basically center on pretty much one album, uh, which I will show you briefly, just, okay. Most people are familiar with that album. And also that album, at least you think you may be, but you're not. Okay, let's go back to the first album, Led Zeppelin II. This is a uh, repressing reissue. I think Jimmy Page might have remastered it. It's in the last couple years. Anyhow, uh, this was the first Led Zeppelin album that I ever bought. Uh, I was a freshman in high school and a whole lot of love was being played on the radio and I always liked this album cover. It was so cool. So I bought it at the local J.C. Penney store which had a nice record department back in 1969. So anyhow, I took the album home, put it on my uh, little portable turntable and of course, whole lot of love. I didn't know any other any of the other songs, and I listened to the album, and I I was 15 years old. I thought, man, I this sucks. And the sound on it was like, what is this? So, being the cheap kid that I was, and still am, uh, if I buy something, I'm going to listen to it. So I put it on a second time, and Heartbreaker and Living, and Loving, and Made caught my attention. I thought, well, yeah, maybe it, whatever. So the third time, I put it on the turntable, and by the end of the third time, I was like, wow, this is the best album I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so... I became a Led Zeppelin fan. Okay, now that other album I showed you, you may think that was Led Zeppelin 1. Actually, this is not. It's called Covers for a Cause, a tribute to Led Zeppelin. It was recorded at Sweetwater Sound in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, this, and that's what's playing in the background, uh, this is a double album, uh, recorded at 45 speed. Excellent. It's super packaged. Beautiful. There's the back. A nice gatefold. Now the story behind this album is, this is called Covers for a Cause 2017. Sweetwater Sound in Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, I think they're the largest uh, musician gear uh, uh, seller in the United States. Uh, whatever, keyboards, drums, guitars, uh, recording equipment, just anything for the uh, professional musician. And they have a huge, monumental uh, facility in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, outside on their campus, they have a huge outdoor theater uh, where they uh, hold events occasionally. And the owner of Sweetwater, uh, Chuck Surick, is a very good benefactor to the arts in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He, uh, he gives back tenfold as much as he receives. Uh, he helps band programs in the high schools in the area and everything. So I know for a number of years they would put on, and I don't know if they made albums or not, but they would put on a concert 
uh, with local Fort Wayne area musicians performing cover versions of songs. Well, this last year, uh, what they did, they made this album, which like I said, is a beautiful package. Sound quality, it was recorded at their studios at Sweetwater. Uh, and they, so they held a uh, concert in October of 2017, which they released this album. Basically for $20, well, it costs you $5 to get into this concert, okay? For $20, you could get in, plus you would get uh, a copy of this double album. And uh, also a download card was included in here, so you could download the digital files. So anyhow, I went over to that, and it was an amazing concert. They performed all these songs. Uh, for instance, if you can hear in the background, Since I've Been Loving You, uh, All My Love, Fool in the Rain, Moby Dick, Gallows Pole, The Lemon Song, Cashmere, which is really kick-ass, No Quarter. Um, so they performed all these songs live. And a lot of these Fort Wayne musicians, well, I don't know about a lot of them, but some of them work actually at Sweetwater. So, um, and this first song that you heard, Since I've Been Loving You, it was sung by Kate Bowser. Uh, I consider her a cross between Robert Plant and Janis Joplin. She has one hell of a voice. She can belt it out. Uh, I don't know how many copies of this album was pressed. I have no idea. I would say probably at least a thousand to maybe fifteen hundred. So they were sold at the concert, and I know they were sold at uh, the Wooden Nickel record stores in Fort Wayne, and also at Sweetwater Sound. Uh, so I don't know if this is for people into Led Zeppelin you know who want to hear alternate versions uh, this would be very good but I don't know how you can get the album really uh, if you're that interested you could probably contact Wooden Nickel record stores in Fort Wayne and they would probably either have the album or know where to get the album at because I'm sure there's some uh, uh, there's a few copies floating around but uh, the whole package in this it's just uh, just a really good beautiful package so anyhow I thought I would show you that uh, which I've always loved Sweetwater. I figure I helped build that place. <laughs> as much money as I spent on gear over there. Even recorded a 45 there 30 years ago or whatever. So uh, anyhow, thought that might be a little interesting little story there. So this is Bradley. Uh, you would care to subscribe or comment uh, please do uh, the weather is finally warming up here for springtime nice sunny day so uh, have a good day I'll catch you later